this. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna crush that poor old Jag. That's terrible. Oh no, that's a cool old Jaguar. I guess these are all uh, doomed. Absolutely the doomed vehicle pile. Here's another one, Olds 88. You never see these, and they're actually quite nice vehicles. They were really nice when they were brand new. I think they were very overlooked back in the day. Fox Body Cougar, there's another thing like that's an 80s one. That's also virtually non existent anymore. Yeah, there's, man, there's so many cars. Like, if I had the room, I would really start hoarding some of these cars that are you know really cheap right now but and not very popular at that because they're gonna get rare and the prices are gonna go up and because and, it's already happening with cars that you just like these t-birds like if you find a nice t-bird v8 they want real money for those and those cars were worthless a few years ago absolutely worthless Yeah, so they got they got a whole bunch of Crown Vicks and Grand Marquis here. They've got quite the quite the product offering. Yeah, gotta give them credit. This is this is so nicely done. This is a very well run yard. be my dream to have a place like this and this is here you go look at that that has shaved the, the door handles are shaved off of this this probably was a pretty sweet ride at some point now it's just wasting away a grand prix you know, man, you never see those you don't see these 80s grand prix or actually that might even be a 70s one Another example, these Monte Carlos, absolutely worthless a few years ago. Now they want real money for them. But I, I think in the future, honestly, like in the next 10 years, oh my God, look at this. That is roasted, son. Roasted. Holy crap, why would you take anything off of that? Um, I really think in the next 10 years with the way the EPA is just the way just the way things are going you better like whatever car you want that's an old school car you know from the 80s or 90s or early 2000s you better start hoarding them now you really need to because they're gonna you know they're just gonna get more and more rare and uh, I think the demand is gonna be very steady for them because nobody like most people are not going to be able to a afford and b want these electric cars they're not going to want them especially wherever it's cold you know cold climates they're not going to want them and this is being pushed and pushed and pushed and really all you're going to have left is heavy trucks you know you're going to have you know f-150s and f-250s and stuff like that but they're all going to be really expensive horrible on gas and like that's not i know they're very popular but okay. not everybody wants a big truck you know it's not for everybody so whatever it is that you're into i really think that uh you need to start hoarding it now look at this look at this impala what a cool color oh that's just that's a shame that's got the expensive wire wheels on it Somebody hasn't stripped that down for everything that's usable. This place is crawling with people too, and this is a this is a happening spot apparently. The parking lot was full.
think this is going to be a rather long video. This might be a three-part video here. Lucky the weather's nice today. It was kind of gloomy the last few days. No, oh, that's actually really clean. These were so nice when they were new. I mean, these were really a nice car. But imagine all the random crap you can find in these cars like when they get them in if they go through them how much random crap was in them I'm really trying to be courteous if not I won't bother anybody I know not everybody wants to be filmed. Let's see, I don't see anything down here that's interesting. That's more like it, a puddle. One neglected spot in this yard. Was this the, uh, the first generation North Star? It's getting to be an old Cadillac at this point. Hmm, weird. Yeah, so this place is called NWA U Pull It, and it's in Rogers, Arkansas. They say this is Rogers. It's on Price Lane in Rogers, Arkansas. You can't miss it. Man, somebody bent the shit out of that rim. Dang. Not too many German cars here. There's a few, but not too many. Look at the Toyota Tracel. Check out that bad boy. Somebody would love to have this Tracel. People love these crappy old Japanese.